Hey buddy, Paul back here again from Ballistic Blood Bullets with a mighty, mighty movie classic of horror proportions from the 1930s, 1932 to be exact, and from the mind and novel based upon H.G. Wells. It is Island of Lost Souls, a genuine, genuine horror great of its time and of course a movie that should be familiar with many many people and all true horror fans and connoisseurs around the world really really delighted that this film after so so long has found its way onto the digital format and here no less not only just on DVD and Blu-ray but in a particularly very, very nice steelbook edition. Now look at that. That is a very, very nice, simple again, but very, very well done steelbook edition. And it's from the good people at Eureka. And it is again one of the masters of cinema entries. Fabulous, fabulous edition. There it is in all of its grandeur and stature, the Masters of Cinema series. And this one is number 32. The back again, which is in line with Eureka's still books, is very, very simple, very clean, nothing on there at all. Some will say, well, where's the artwork? But to me, it is significant with their Masters of Cinema range. And we notice it because of it. It's clearness, it's crispness. And in bold font letters, the title of the movie itself, Island of Lost Souls, just cries out at us in absolute splendour. But that front cover... That is as eerie as it gets, really. If you imagine way back in 1932 when the film was first made, images such as this would have made audiences very nervous, very anxious, and none more so than the censors as well. And we'll touch upon the censorship of the movie as we go through the video. But let's have a look inside. Again, with Masters of Cinema, we get very nice... Very well done, very crisp, very clean discs. Now this is the Blu-ray edition of the film. Nice little image of Panther Lady, Panther Woman, from the film. One of the characters. But uh, we also have a DVD edition of the movie as well. So you're getting double your value of money once again with Masters of Cinema. Really can't fault them at all. And of course what we have is the fabulously done, very simple again, but very significant background imagery within the Steelbook edition itself and nestling nicely behind where the discs are. But again, this is two of the very freakish mutants characters from the film. Experimentations of, of course, Dr. Moreau. Very, very nice indeed. Do like this edition. Very, very impressed and pleased and delighted with Eureka, what they've been doing and uh, this Island of Lost Souls edition, Masters of Cinema, is top, top notch and very much in line with all the editions that they have released thus far. I'm very, very excited for what else they have coming. Top, top quality. With this again, of course, you also get the little information card sets out a little bit about the movie, tells us some of the 
pinpoints of the film and it of course also details how the film has been restored and in what sound and visual quality we have and it's a 1932 release 71 minute film black and white of course but this will be very very crisp in the digital format particularly on blu-ray it's mono sound of course which is no great surprise going back to 1932 and the original aspect ratio here is 137 to 1 it's a region B2 lock disc unfortunately for fans of the film around the world and it's a 1080p AVC encoded disc and it's DTS HD master audio so that should really really tweak up that monaural sound but again just nice to have a little card that uh, easily peels off of the disc itself or off of the casing should I say the steelbook casing but uh, a nice nice addition there to have indeed very very cool now what we were looking at at the start of the film of the video here was not just the poster that uh, emblazoned the cinemas way back in the 1930s but this is a very nice booklet that comes with the packaging as well it's so nice to have this and again just flicking through it gives you all the cast details and history of the film along with some very 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 nice pictures here we have of course the evil maligned Dr. Moreau, as played by the awesome, awesome characterization, Charles Lawton. And the information within the book is done by Kim Newman, who is very well known, very much a connoisseur of movies himself. And the booklet itself is pretty much a page of pictures and a page of information throughout the booklet so it's very very well done lots of cool pictures and artwork to look at truly fans of the film will revel in this it is a delight and as I say after so very long, too long without having this film in the general public for consumption by fans alike. And here we have some of the makeup artistry, some of the ghoulish characters that frequent the movie. And that, of course, is a face that uh, should be familiar to true. Horror fans of the old Universal movies, this is none other than Bella Lugosi, who is one of the co-stars in the movie. But there we are. We have a 32-page booklet that comes with the Eureka Masters of Cinema Steelbook Edition. And very welcome it is indeed. Fantastic. Fantastic stuff. Now this movie is for me one of the greats of the old school horror movies stable. Absolutely a genuine bona fide classic favourite of mine. And it is the original perversion of science horror of an insane genius scientist who of course is Dr. Moreau and his experiments with evolution of the species a self-established deity giving birth to mutated abominations of half-human and animal creations a startling film of its time 
that shocked audiences and upset censors as much as Todd Browning's infamous movie Freaks. And like Freaks, the island of lost souls was banned for several decades in many countries around the world. And the BBFC in the UK actually refused this movie a certification until 1958. That's some 26 years after the movie was first released. The film, as I say, was made in 1932 and is the forefather of many incarnations largely known under the title of the island of Dr Moreau that came in the decades that followed but also popping up as highly entertaining oddities from places like the Philippines and the movie from the Philippines we have here on DVD as well and that is the great big fun movie Twilight People And the Twilight People was made in 1973 and it features a young Pam Greer who will be known to exploitation fans and action fans of the Filipino movies throughout the 70s into the 80s and of course in more recent film fare from Tarantino himself as the titular Jackie Brown. Now this is not only one of the Island of Dr. Moreau clones, but again a film from Japan this time that also had censorship problems itself. And again in the mould of the Island of Dr. Moreau we have from Japan horrors of male formed men. I think you can see there, and particularly if we turn over and look at the back, the reverse, the garish, ghoulish nature of the creations in this movie as well, very much in tune with the mad scientist Dr Moreau. And the Horrors of Malformed Men was a movie itself so startling that upon release in 1969 it too was banned and has not seen a greater general release until fairly recently with this DVD release of the film and it's a very welcome release as well now the taboo subject matter of messing with living beings and daring to experiment against given birthright. It is a subject that is not only taboo but it's a curious thing that lingers in all of us. It's shocking and startling but it's something that just tweaks our curiosity. Subjecting living beings to experimentation against given birthright is clearly one that offends the boundaries of humanity. An island of lost souls is directed by Earl C. Kenton who was perhaps best known for making the enjoyable universal horror hybrids House of Dracula and House of Frankenstein but foremostly for his flair at comedy working with the likes of Abbott and Costello on a couple of their most well-known and more famous movies. Again going back to the period of the 1930s, 1940s and trickling into the 1950s. Island of Lost Souls then is a, a true one-off stark contrast 
in his very long and enjoyable resume of over 140 films spanning some 40 plus years. An incredible, incredible resume. Now, Dr. Moreau here in this movie is, of course, played by the British character actor Charles Lawton. Now, in tune with horror connections and famous horror movies from the Universal Studios, Charles Lawton was married, or was married not only then, but also to his dying days, to Elsa Lancaster. And Elsa Lancaster, of course, is most memorable and remembered and loved for her iconic role as the bride of Frankenstein. She indeed was the lady with the incredible bouffant hairstyle that, of course, is perhaps more memorable these days with Marge from The Simpsons. But she indeed was the Bride of Frankenstein. Now, Charles Lawton, uh, in this movie, it was, at that stage, only his second leading acting role. But uh, he was an actor who suffered for his art at many a time, and not unlike the phenomenal Lon Chaney, Lon Chaney Sr., of course, because his son, Lon Chaney Jr., of course, was also synonymous as the Wolfman in the Universal horror movies. But uh, Lon Chaney Sr. was known as Man of a Thousand Faces due to his astonishing makeup artistry that he applied himself. Now, Charles Lawton, too, underwent many a transformation on film. And his most memorable role perhaps being that of Quasimodo in his defining performance as the Hunchback of Notre Dame in 1939. Now just to compare here again, we're looking at the obviously Masters of Cinema edition of The Island of Lost Souls. But there is of course another defining edition as well and that is from Criterion and this is the cover art of the DVD edition of the movie so we're spoilt here now Criterion also have released this in America in a Blu-ray edition of the film there isn't from Criterion a steelbook edition I don't believe Criterion themselves have actually produced still books to date. But it is something that, uh, again, I think fans would agree we would all very much like to see the mighty Criterion come out with the occasional still book. That would be something quite mouth-watering. But again, very simplistic art, but very, very much hits on not only the title of the movie but the shocking realism of what monstrosities mankind is capable of. But this is the Criterion Edition and again it also too, which is very synonymous with Criterion, comes with a booklet as well. Not as voluminous as the Masters of Cinema Edition, and indeed not with as many pictures either. So for me, comparing the two, I do prefer the Masters of Cinema Eureka Edition. And here we have the blurb. It uh, was synonymous with the film when it came out, which was really a cry from Dr. Moreau's creations. Are we not men? question mark. Perhaps even an exclamation mark would be appropriate there. But there we are, we do have two editions, two releases of this fantastic film. So you get nothing for many, many years and then all of a sudden we get sport for choice. 
Now within the film, not only do we have a defining and groundbreaking performance from our lead actor Charles Lawton as Dr. Moreau, but Bella Lugosi appears in makeup as one of Dr. Moreau's more successful experimentations. A human gene and animal crossbreed with the ability to talk and to reason. He is known as the sayer of the law and the law being set down by, of course, the diabolical Dr. Moreau. That all new animal human life shall lay down their inherent ways of the beast and be as man. Uh, Dr. Moreau's island and ungodly ways are threatened with the arrival of a shipwrecked gang of survivors as their reluctant and mysterious host soon betrays his own social shortcomings with malevolent overtures and with shocking experiments and revelations made the island's inmates rise up to take down the asylum and its miscreant messiah, Dr. Moreau. Classic, classic horror, unsettling and shocking for its time that even today resonates an air of discomfort and thought-provoking unease. Truly one of the all-time greats of horror cinema that is the island of Los Souls. Really excellent, excellent edition of this fabulous, fabulous still book. Truly fans of this and people curious to want to check it out. Do, if you can afford to and if you can find it, try picking up this fabulous edition the steelbook quality Blu-ray release from Eureka in their Masters of Cinema range. Thank you all so very much for sticking with me. I know this has been a particularly long video, but it's a movie that I have a real passion for, a true, genuine fondness for the classic genre from the old school cinema from the 1930s and this is as i say a truly quality release so thank you so much indeed for checking out the video really pleased to welcome you guys as always it's a delight to have your company so thank you very much indeed take care everybody of course see you all soon take care bye for now